I'm going to demonstrate how I make the armature for my bird feet. I'll show you how to go from this to this. One piece of wire. This was shown to me by a gentleman of the name of Dick Peters at a carving show back in the 90s. So I'm not going to do any measuring here. I'm just, this is just for demonstration purposes. So the first bend you make is for the two inner and outer toes. So you just bend that around until it's where you want it. And you can just visualize these are the two toes. The next bend will be to make this to look like a triangle. So you bend it here doesn't have to touch and then at the base of the triangle in the middle bend that back and that'll be your middle toe So at the back of the toe, bend this for your tarsus or leg to the angle you want your leg to be. Just like that. And after you've measured how long or how you want your tarsus, you bend towards the toes and this will be the part that goes into the bird itself and it will look like this and now here you bend this back and you get these as close together as you can when you squeeze it together and that'll be the part that goes into the bird now the next bend is the back of the tarsus and you want to get this one as close as possible also because you will be soldering these together. Sometimes it helps to go past it a little and then come back. So now you got that. Now the next one bend is for the back toe. So right at the back of the middle toe, bend the back toe back. Starting to look like a foot. You got all your toes in there. Now you take this wire on the back and you loop this around so it ends up in the middle here.
it would look something like that. And then when you get that like that, you solder it. And it'll look like this. And then you cut these here and here, the two loops you cut. And then that'll look like this. And then when once you figured out how you long you want your toes, then you put your toenails in and I always bend it back first and then forward. A little exaggerated. And then I cut it off to where I want it. And then I take it on an anvil or whatever you have the pound on. Flatten it out on the end. Kind of pull it out when you're flattening it. And then you, that'll, then you take a file or a diamond bit or whatever you want. And shape it into a toenail. And then it should end up looking something like this. And then you cover it with two-part epoxy putty or whatever you think will work. Different methods. And that's it. Pretty simple. One piece of wire. Thanks for watching.